Georgia Tech will finish up its ACC season, also its final home game on Saturday when Duke visits at 3.30 at Grant Field in Bobby Dodd Stadium. And ironically, Durham native Vad Lee is here to visit with us uh, this week. Tell me about last Saturday in Chapel Hill. Was that as frenetic as maybe it seemed for you? I mean, there you are, you're playing, you're getting to get the bulk of the snaps for the first time in your career. I mean, it's 10 minutes from your house. Mm -hmm. I mean, is that as wild and as chaotic as maybe it seems? Oh man, it was, it was, it was definitely wild. You know, <laughs> my whole senior year of high school, I only played two fourth quarters. So it was like this game, I was so exhausted because <laughs> I didn't expect to get that many snaps. But um, I was just happy that my family and friends was there and everybody in North Carolina was watching the game. Of course, if they Carolina fans, you know, watching us. And um, I was just so excited to just put on a great performance for, for my hometown. It's kind of interesting how this worked out. I mean, you play Carolina, have a pretty good ball game. Yeah. Now come back and here comes the hometown team to visit for the final home game of this season. That, that's pretty bizarre, isn't it? Yes, sir. We got the Duke Blue Devils coming in. You know, <laughs> this is a big game for us. Um, I got a couple of teammates on that team, so we've been texting or whatnot and just, just talking about the game and how excited it and how proud of, proud that we are of, of each other. Yeah. Um, is it been a growing process? I mean, I think a lot of people hear that term and don't understand it, but can you put into words kind of the growth process that goes on playing quarterback at this level, playing football at this level? Um, yeah, definitely playing football at this level is already tough enough. And then you, um, being able to put that Georgia Tech jersey on every week, you know, that's added pressure. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, in this offense, the quarterback, it, the offense run through the quarterback. And, you know, um, you got to be mentally focused on every play. You can't take a playoff. You know, even our base run plays, you got to carry out the fake and, and go down 10 yards. So, I mean, um, it's definitely tough, but it's a growing process. And as I get more experience and, and get a little older and wiser in this offense, I feel more confident. It's interesting because I, I think every time, whether it's a college team or a pro team, or any team, high school for that matter, plays two guys at quarterback. I think everybody wants it to be an adversarial relationship. <laughs> and, and quite frankly, to your credit and to his, I don't see that with you and Tevin. I don't think anybody who is directly or indirectly connected to this team sees that. Why? What? Tell me about the relationship you guys have. Um, we, me and Tevin have a pretty good relationship. <laughs> you know, he's been um, the starting quarterback for two or three years now, and um, he's been through through it all. And, you know, I'm kind of the young cat just coming in, you know, with a lot of energy, you know, um, new to everything. So he kind of prepped me towards going forward. And, you know, I was, I was, just, I was the, just there trying to be a supporting cast for him um, and, and just know that he has my support as well. It's kind of interesting to watch you guys because I think you've played off each other pretty well here, right? Yes, sir. What, what's that been like? I mean, during the course of a game, do you guys talk about, well, something maybe you saw from the sideline or something he saw from the sideline when you were playing? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, Tevin, um, he starts the game out. So, you know, I try to give him pointers or whatever on what I see or mm -hmm. if I see the safety biting too hard or if play action might be a, a, a good play that we need to go to and, and, and look for key players that will be open, you know. Sure. So um, we definitely – and he definitely helped me a lot too, you know. He obviously more experienced than I am in this offense, so he, he definitely helps me out a lot. There's not many of you guys from the state of North Carolina on this roster. Um, and when you elected to, to commit to Georgia Tech and ultimately sign with Georgia Tech, it probably wasn't a wildly popular thing to do, given the success you'd had at Hillside and you guys won in the, what, 5A title, I remember. 4A. 4A title. Um, what was it about this place? Um, you know, it's just pretty special, you know. Um, it got a lot of tradition and history. Um, you know, I, I always wanted to win the Heisman um, Award and, you know, the coach coach here at Georgia Tech. <laughs> so uh, I always thought that it would be cool if I can bring it back to Georgia Tech. Um, you know, but the coaches, um, Coach Johnson and the staff, um, they recruited me really hard and really well. And, you know, I was just excited to just come here and, and, and just start my legacy and, and play for a ACC championship every year and, and possibly a national championship. Um, you mentioned you got a couple former high school teammates playing for Duke. Mm -hmm. What's that like this weekend? Oh, it's going to be fun. You know, last year we, we went to Duke and Durham. Um, so now they get to come to <clears throat> our house and, 
and, and play in front of our fans. So hopefully we just put on a great performance Saturday. You know, I'm, I'm going to be excited to see them play, so I probably won't sit on the bench at all because, I mean, <laughs> most of those guys play offense, so I'm, I'm going to be excited to see what they can do. That's Fad Lee, Georgia Tech, and Duke on Saturday at 3.30.